So there was a craft room in the Princess Margaret Lottery Home last year. Last year, I, I think loved it was slightly it. bigger than this one. Uh, just a little bit. Just a little <laughs> bit. So Brian designed that last year. It was right next to the rec room, and he used Benjamin Moore paint throughout. So Sharon's giving us a tour right now. Gray is the perfect wall color choice for this grand recreation room. Now, the space is large, and that dark color really helps to make it feel more intimate and cozy. I love how Brian used an eggshell finish on the wall and then highlighted all the trim and doors with a satin sheen in the exact same gray. And the color is actually called gray, so it's really easy to remember. Now, the other feature of this room is it's a TV viewing room, and I love how the gray helps to camouflage that TV when it's not in use. And instead, what stands out is the highlight of white matte around all of the art in this beautiful art wall. The rec room is open to the hallway and that can be a little tricky to know where to start and stop a color. Now my general rule is keep the room color in the room and bring the hallway or the public space color into that. So it works perfectly here especially because they have this nice large trim that kind of frames the view out to the hallway. Now one other detail I love about this space is how the design team used a nice large long screen to cover the back of the sofa. It's a nice change from a typical sofa table. Right next to the rec room is the arts and craft room where Brian has used yet another shade of grey. In this room he's chosen Stonington grey, a much lighter, really neutral grey which is perfect for all the creative art pieces that are going to be happening in this space. It will not distract from any of that. Now on the doors and trim they've also used the same Stonington grey but in a satin finish. Who could not be inspired in a space like this?